I'm Lisa, and I would like to share with you a grouping of Hannah somatic exercises that provide a fun way to rediscover the movements available to us in our shoulder girdle, our pelvic girdle, and may introduce you to your somatic center, the area uh, Thomas defined as being between base of rib cage and top of pelvis. It has a front, it has a back, and it has two sides. If you have a good sense of and control uh, over your somatic center, it aids in your ability to move freely, comfortably. Your movements are effective and efficient. And the converse is true if for some reason you've lost a good connection and control over that part of yourself. I often do these movements in bed before I get out of bed and start my day, and sometimes in bed preparing for a good night's sleep. So if today it's not possible for you to come down to the floor, then feel free to follow along lying in bed, uh, lying in a so on a sofa wherever you can. Have nearby pillows, blankets, towels, anything you may need to help support your body so that as we go through our movements, you are optimally comfortable. If you have long hair and you have it gathered behind your head, I'm going to suggest that you take that out so that when you're doing movements of your head, it can move freely and isn't impeded by a bun or a ponytail. Go ahead now, find your way down. And once you're comfortable, begin a body scan. Tune into your body with your mind. Tune in with great curiosity, an extreme amount of kindness, and openness for what you discover. And so now we'll begin with a movement of your pelvis in the um, pattern of forward tilting or backward tilting. If it's helpful to you, you can rest your hands on the front of your pelvis and your directionality is determined by which way the front of your pelvis is moving. So if you tilt your pelvis forward, the front of your pelvis is tipping towards your feet. You may sense your tailbone more into the ground. You may notice your lower back has lifted and you are doing that with muscles in your back. As you slowly decrease the amount of contraction in those back muscles, you come out of that forward pelvic tilt. Now gently tip your pelvis back. The front of your pelvis is tipping towards your head. You've contracted abdominal muscles. You may notice your tailbone is lifting a little away from the floor and your low back has moved towards the floor. Slowly release the contraction in those abdominal muscles and you come out of your movement. Do that one or two more times. Focus on the contracting side of your movement. Move slowly so that you're moving with your motor cortex. And move slowly so that you know you're always moving within a comfortable range. In this work, we do not force. Complete the movement you're in the midst of and pause. Now sense how the back of your head is on the floor. Leave your head on the floor. Gently draw the spot of the back of your head that's resting on the floor up the floor. Your face is tipping towards your feet, so this is a forward tilt of your head. Release what you contracted in the front of your body to do that. And 
enough slide the back of your head down the floor a little. Your face is tipping away from your feet. You're doing a backward tilt of your head. Release by decontracting the muscles you just contracted in the back of your body. And you can explore that movement again. We're moving in a voluntary pendicular fashion. The first part of our movement is done to create a contraction in a group of muscles. And the second part allows our brain to then step down the level of contraction in that muscle beyond or below where it started. The only part of your brain that can step down the level of contraction is your motor cortex. Now see what uh, happens when you press ball of foot, each foot forward a little. Can you sense you're using muscles in the back of your body? Slowly release. Draw ball of foot, each foot, backward towards your face. You're using muscles in the front of your body. And slowly release. Combine the movement you just did at your ankle with your head and pelvic movement. Tilt your pelvis and head forward and press ball of foot forward. Slowly release. Tilt head and pelvis backward and draw ball of foot back towards your head, towards your pelvis. Slowly release. Continue in this movement and see if you notice as you're moving your head and pelvis in the same direction, you're actually causing your lower back and your neck to do opposite movements. One is flattening as the other is arching. Complete the movement you're in the midst of. Pause and take a moment to tune in. Now, if it's uh, comfortable, you can let your arms come to your side. We're going to do a movement where your head and pelvis go in opposite directions, which means your whole spine will either be in a flexion or an extension pattern. And we're going to add in movement of your arms and legs, rolling laterally or externally away from your midline, or rolling medially, internally towards your midline, and you'll notice your shoulders become involved, as does the two halves of your pelvis, your hemi-pelvis. On an inhale, tilt your pelvis forward, arch your back, head tilts back, roll your arms and legs laterally away from your midline. Notice that you've shortened the back of your somatic center and you've contracted a lot of muscles in the back of your body. Slowly release, return to your neutral. Tilt your pelvis back, tilt your head forward a little, roll arms and legs in. Your shoulders may lift up off the floor. And can you notice you've narrowed the front of your pelvis, you've shortened the front of your somatic center, and you've contracted a lot of muscles in the front of your body. Slowly release those contractions and return to your neutral. Inhale as you are, rolling arms and legs out, stay in a comfortable range. Exhale, slowly release. You can decrease the size of your movement as much as you need to remain in comfort. Exhale as you roll arms and legs in. Head and pelvis are nodding towards each other, the center of your body, and slowly release.
pause when you've completed your next movement and notice if you sense from the internal information your body is communicating up to your brain that one side of your body feels shorter. Maybe one side of your somatic center feels shorter. That side rib cage is closer to that side pelvis. If you sense that, do this next movement with that side first. In somatic education, we go with our patterns. We do what is happening involuntarily, unconsciously, voluntarily, consciously, intentionally, as a way of coming out of the pattern. To help um, align your movement, start with your arms by your side. And to help bring awareness to the parts of your body you're going to move, you can lightly touch that side hemi pelvis, waist area, rib cage, armpit area, shoulder. Leave your body as flat on the floor as you can as you slowly draw that side hemi pelvis up towards your armpit. Slide that side hand and arm down towards your foot. Your armpit is going towards your hemi pelvis. Slowly release. From where you end up, do your movement again. Draw your hemi pelvis armpit towards each other. Ribs on that side come closer. You may find your head follows and slowly release. We put our attention on the contracting side and we are also globally aware of our movement. So if you'd like, we'll use your breath in this next repetition of the movement to help you to feel what's happening in the lengthening side of your body. As you exhale one more time, shorten that side, bring hemi pelvis and armpit towards each other. Hold the position and slowly inhale. Feel your inhale mapping the length, the space that's been created in the lengthening side of your body. Slowly release with an exhale. Lightly tap if it's helpful. The second side of your body hemi, pelvis, waist, ribs, armpit, shoulder. And when you're ready, slowly draw that hemi, pelvis up towards your armpit. Slide your hand and shoulder down towards your foot, moving armpit towards hemi, pelvis. Slowly release. As you once again do your movement, notice that side of your somatic center is short. The other side is open. Slowly release. And this time, if you'd like to hold the movement for a moment as you inhale, you can. Exhale as you come into the pattern, bringing hemi pelvis and armpit closer. Hold an inhale, feel your inhale helping you to internally sense the space that's been created in the non-shortening side. Exhale, release, return to your neutral and Leave your arms and hands in a comfortable position on the floor. Bring your attention to your right pectoral area, the right side of your chest. Using muscles there, inhale and move your right shoulder towards the ceiling. And slowly release it back towards the floor. Remember, it's a pandiculation. As you take your shoulder forward, you're causing pectoral muscles to contract. 
And then gravity helps with your release. You don't have to turn anything new on. You are simply stepping down the level of contraction in the muscles that brought your shoulder forward. A couple of times now, move your right shoulder back against the floor. Can you notice you're using muscles in the back of your body? Slowly release. Take your right shoulder back into the floor and slowly release to let it come forward and rest. You may sense now your right shoulder in a different relationship to your body as it rests on the floor compared with your left. Working with your left shoulder, inhale it, bring it towards the ceiling, Exhale, let it come back towards the floor. Inhale your left shoulder towards the ceiling. Exhale, let it come back, controlling the release and finding neutral. And then work with muscles in the back of your body as you gently take your shoulder back and slowly release it forward. Move your shoulder back towards the floor and slowly let it come forward towards the ceiling. Pause and see now that you've worked with both shoulders, do they feel more similar in relationship to your body and how they're resting on the ground? So a similar movement, but it's different because your pelvic girdle is constructed differently than your shoulder girdle. We'll work with the two halves of your pelvis. They do have the ability to move somewhat independently, and that ability or lack of ability to move somewhat independently either helps or impedes your enjoyment in walking. If it's helpful, you can rest your hands on the uh, front of your pelvis, sensing the two halves. You can rest over that bony prominence, your as is. Using muscles in the front of your right pelvis, move your right hemi pelvis forward a little and slowly let it come back. Take your right hemipelvis ceilingward a little, and you may notice there's a rotation happening in your somatic center. Slowly release. Take your right hemipelvis back into the floor. Slowly release. As you move your right hemipelvis back floorward, do you notice your left hemipelvis moving ceilingward? Now intentionally move your left hemipelvis forward. You may notice that takes your right hemipelvis backward. Inhale your left hemipelvis forward. Exhale, release, and let it come back. Take your left hemi-pelvis back towards the floor and slowly release. Left hemi-pelvis back towards the floor and slowly release. If it's comfortable, you can lay your arms down. We're going to do a movement with your hemi pelvis and uh, with your pelvic girdle, shoulder girdle. Uh, hemi pelvis and opposite shoulder moving together. It's a contralateral pattern. It is a part of your walking pattern. Inhale, move your right shoulder and left hemi pelvis forward together. 
exhale, slowly release them back. Take your right shoulder, left hand, knee, pelvis back against the floor and slowly release. Work now with your moving your left shoulder and right hand, knee, pelvis first forward. Notice what you're contracting in the front of your body. Slowly release. And then taking left shoulder and right hand knee pelvis back into the floor, feeling what you're contracting in the back of your body. And slowly release. Once again, take your right shoulder, left hand knee pelvis forward. Notice the other diagonal is going backward. Release. Move left shoulder, right hemi pelvis forward. Feel what's happening in the other diagonal. Slowly release and rest. Before we conclude, let's do sort of a summary movement. In one overall movement, it will incorporate a lot of the individual movements that we differentiated in this practice. So now as you bring them together as a part of a bigger movement, your movement has synergy and you will organize it at a higher degree of cooperation and coordination. Bend your knees to stand your feet. Let's do a version of the arch and curl exercise that's the second exercise in Thomas's daily cat. As a part of this will be either taking your knees wide or away from your midline or narrow towards your midline. They'll do what your elbows are doing. And you'll either be widening your feet, walking them apart or narrowing your feet. And so that involves a lot of muscles in your lower extremity. Start with your feet and knees close. Bring your hands to behind your head. You can interlace your fingers if you'd like. Inhale, arch your back. Pelvis tips forward, head tilts back. Widen your knees and elbows. Slowly release. Walk your feet apart as you tilt your pelvis back and head forward. Bring your elbows towards each other, your knees towards each other, and curl forward using your abdomen and slowly release. Walk your feet in as you inhale and arch. Notice what's happening in your somatic center, the back of your pelvic girdle and shoulder girdle. Release. Walk your feet apart. Curling forward, knees and elbows towards each other. Notice what's happening in your somatic center, the front of your pelvic girdle and shoulder girdle. Slowly release. Do one more cycle. Inhaling as you arch. Exhale to release. Exhale as you curl forward. Inhale as you release. Lay your arms and legs down. Enjoy scanning your body with your mind and noticing all of the new sensations you find. If this is the end of your day, feel free to let the video end. If you're Starting your day, bend your knees, gently turn to your side, use your arms to press up.
take a moment to sit. And when you're ready, thoughtfully come up to stand. Take a moment in standing, feel your feet on the floor, your full height within the pull of gravity. And as you're ready, move into your day. Thank you so much for joining. Namaste.